Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today, I want to do a little bit more in-depth discussion on Sky Striker Ace Camellia. It's the new card that was revealed earlier this week. I think it's really, really interesting. I gave my initial, I guess, reaction to the card as soon as it came out, but uh, I've had a couple days to kind of brew on it, stew on it, and I think I've... I don't know, I've had just more developed thoughts on this card and I have some ideas of where this card could allow, you know, certain Sky Striker decks and engines to go. And I, and I think it's I think it's a good card. I do. The restriction is kind of brutal. Only being able to special summon it once per turn. It's special summon, not link summon. So Because it can only be special summoned once per turn. It really makes that second effect in a lot of scenarios, in a lot of Sky Striker decks, almost unusable, but um, in certain ones, it can still work, but not nearly as cleanly as it could have been otherwise. Otherwise, it could have been like a really great card. Um, but yeah, let's let's talk about it here. So um, if you don't know about what Camellia does, uh, just real quick, just to go over its effects. Uh, must first be Link Summoned. It's a Link 2. It takes any two effect monsters. It's great. You can only special summon it once per turn. Uh, there's a world where, like, if this gets... Oh, whoops. If this gets um, retranslated and this is Link Summon once per turn, then the card becomes so good. So much better. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, once per turn, if you have three or less spells in your graveyard, you can send one Sky Striker card from your deck to the graveyard. So just bins for you. I think one of the biggest things... Uh, for this is it's going to allow you to essentially Hayate uh, even turn one, which Sky Striker doesn't always uh, go first, and, and it depends on the type of build you're playing. As of lately, it's been more of a going second base deck. Uh, it allows the deck to have more options going first, but also, even going second, it's an extra dump. So a lot of people will be like, oh, I need to stop the Hayate because that's how they get engaged in rotation on turn one, uh, on their, or at least on their turn one. Um, and so having a way to maybe link climb after they negate a Hayate into this card, then get the dump for the engage, then go down into Kagari and get the engage back, start steamrolling a ton of advantage from there, uh, is a really cool tool. Uh, it has a secondary effect that says if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target a monster your opponent controls. Special summon this card to their field, and if you do send their monster to the graveyard, also shift control. Uh, to this card's owner during the end phase of this turn. So you would be getting this card on the end phase, which is kind of cool. It, it's a cool effect, but because it can only be special summon once per turn, you can't use this effect the turn you special summon it, which is kind of a bummer. Um, you also can't send this directly from extra deck to grave uh, because it, it would have never been correctly special summoned in the first place, so it wouldn't be allowed to summon itself back, meaning the effect won't work. Um, and so it's kind of a bummer. Uh, but there are a couple ways. You can leave it on field and send it on the opponent's turn um, on a later turn other than the turn it was summoned to then trigger it to, to get a removal. Or um, if you can get it something like equipped in a spell and trap zone, little hint, there's some cool cards that could allow you to do that. Um, that that is also a thing that could and then like link off the card that it's that it's equipped to, and then it gets sent to grave, it could then trigger from there um, as well. So there are some options there, but still, even if the first effect is just the main effect and the second effect isn't even coming up that much, I still think it makes it a good card because, uh, like I said, giving you the extra, the, the ability to send going first, the second send going second, um, as well as the ability for generic cards to f like f uh, facilitate your Sky Striker engine. You could open not a single Sky Striker card, but just if you can get two bodies on the field, make Camellia, dump Engage, Kagari add back Engage, Engage from there. If you have extra spells in hand, then you fire them to then get three, and then you're also getting the draw and actually plussing and go ham. That's 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 how it goes. But uh, yeah, I really like that it allows some generic ass uh, cards to get you into that Sky Striker engine. Um, okay, so getting into Dueling Book here, nothing too crazy here on the screen. This is pretty you know, just standard lineups for Sky Striker cards. I think some of the really important things to note from the new card is there's going to be two main ways I think we're going to see this card come into play. One, I think it'll probably just be a staple one of in Sky Striker decks as is, so that's great for them. Um, but also, I could see something happen where maybe we start seeing decks that just play a small Sky Striker engine, uh, you know, splash it in. There's going to be decks that have particular synergy with it, stuff like your Runix that, you know, Sky Strikers play, you know, 
with a lot of spells and uh, they play a very strong controlly game and they don't always need the field spell active so runic fountain and like the runic cards can kind of support it pretty well um, i think therians specifically just like the field spell and regulus are immensely powerful in this deck giving them extra layers of disruption the ability to put more damage on board and um uh, some of the other synergies with the deck very very nice uh, they also facilitate regulus so easily you're just like always making regulus live one of the complaints with Therian cards in general is they can be bricky um but this this engine really really complements regulus specifically and you want to be earth machine um i had messed around with an earth machine list like a couple of months ago uh, where I was playing a small Sky Striker engine before Camellias even came out. And I was playing, you know, like one uh, Engage, one uh, Hornet Drones, and I think an Afterburners in the main deck. And then you played, I think, Kagari and Kaina in the extra. Kaina just because she's an Earth Machine, and that would help you get into other specific monsters. And uh, the Kagari was just to get a double activation on something, right? Um, and it was really good. Uh, it actually was, was, it was a nice little package that could get you bodies on field going first, uh, as well as give you an option to get into like an afterburners going second to help you play into a board. And maybe that becomes even more accessible now because in that package, you were just kind of relying on draw engage or draw Hornet drones. If you draw afterburners, hopefully you're going second and you're fine. Um, whereas now it's like any two bodies now goes send engage, make Kagari add back engage engage for something else i could see that being a thing and and i really thought about it and i'm not sure if it'll really work out this way but when i really thought about it i was like you know what's interesting this is now a generic follow-up engine sort of uh i think back to when we were in verte anaconda format where uh you know if you you played into as many hand traps as many interruptions as possible and as long as you baited all your opponent's interactions you then would just put two bodies on the field make Verte Anaconda and get to either DPE or Dragoon and just win the game, essentially. Uh, that's how a lot of duels ended up during that format. Now, I don't think it's quite as strong as what Verte Anaconda allowed generically to pretty much any deck, but I do think there's something to be said about the fact that, like, you could play into a ton of interaction, you know what I mean? Throw a bunch of stuff at your opponent, and if they get you, you're like, hmm. Um, you could just play one Widow Anchor in the main deck. And then if you play Camellias, then you just go make Camellias, as long as you never put three spells in Grave, send Widow Anchor, link into Kagari, and Kagari add back the Widow Anchor. Set it. Or steal another monster, you know, you're steal you're taking another card from your opponent, maybe getting into another Link monster, and going from there. There like you know what I mean? And, it, and if not, you're just getting to a Widow Anchor at least. So you're you're getting to a pretty strong interruption at that point. So I don't know. Uh, it's weird, but like that could definitely be a thing, and it's it is a small package as long as the deck is able to like play with um you know two open extra uh, slots for that and at least one widow anchor. But you could also mess around with a hornet drones, a you know what I mean, an engage something like that, and and, and see where that takes you as well. But just it's really interesting. I, I really just think there is really an open door here, and we're really gonna have to wait and see where everything kind of comes through here. But whether it's a non Sky Striker deck now able to play a Sky Striker engine because it just fits more seamless, seamlessly than it ever has before, or whether it's a Sky Striker deck that now has better synergy with a lot of other engines. Um, that's another thing as well. Um, I also think potentially for Sky Strikers, their world where we decide where there are better normal summons out there, or maybe just additional packages that maybe somehow get you another additional piece of value other than. Um, you know, just two bodies on the field. I'm trying to think, like, something like a Neospace Connector, right? Going first, that's a hand rip and full hand knowledge, while also just being a one-card link, too. Um, and so you're ripping a card while also getting to Camellias, which is, you know, getting you into your Sky Striker plays. There could be something there, for sure. I don't know, and stuff like that. I, that was the best one I could think of off the top of my head. I didn't spend too much diving into, too much time diving into, like, what other cards like that could it could exist that could get you some other piece of utility aside from just being a one card link to but give you something a little bit more um but it's definitely something i'm super interested in for sure um so we'll see um there's a lot of cool stuff here a lot of really cool ideas um i'm not exactly sure where the route will will take us but like man i'm definitely curious to test around test around with it and really see if strikers 
this could be the difference because I don't think this card by itself just makes strikers so much better but I think it's more the fact that it's going to allow strikers to have so many more options and ways to play that you're going to be able to play more better cards in your deck that you weren't able to play before because this card makes it more of a seamless connection between strikers and whatever the other cards are so We'll see. Um, really, really cool. Just want to go a little more in depth on that. Hopefully some of these were some cool ideas that maybe you guys have been thinking about, or if you have anything to add to the conversation that I didn't throw out there in this video, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear it. Just any thoughts you're having right now on like Sky Strikers and ways to use and abuse Camellia, whether it's a Sky Striker deck or whether it's another deck playing a Sky Striker engine, I really, really would love to hear it. So throw that stuff down below. Um, but I'm out here for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this from your boy down below uh, and in more, you know, later on. But I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Peace.